not you're on. Right. So what are we talking? We're talking about those high power lines and King of Pressure, those man. Those 500,000 volt lines. Yeah, those are, things are like coming right out of kind of Wingo Dam, bro. Yes. So I was taking a, what is it, silver maple down. And I didn't even think. I said, boy, I'm far enough away from those lines. No way. So sure enough, and we're just letting them kind of rip down the, the limbs. And things so far so good. So I came down to the last few, and this one was kind of long. So I remember cutting it. I didn't even get halfway through it, and I, I felt it. Felt what? I felt the shock come right. through, and it was like, it, it came no, you know, I thought it was nowhere near the line, but another guy was like, well, it probably was maybe 15 feet away when it came, started coming down. Right. And as it came down, then it just kind of hung there. It stopped. And it wasn't like a continual thing because then I, did, I was still cutting as I was getting shocked. And it was... So you just felt like this this juice traveled 15 feet that through the air. 15 feet. To the end of the branch. Yes. And then into the, through you, well, your hand was still on the saw. My hand was still on the saw. And you could still keep cutting then. Well, it wasn't much more. I had, it was like... <laughs> Felt it. I understand, but it, well, when you say you did, it was a little feel, it, you, your muscles didn't like cramp up and tighten no. up or anything, did they? No, no. It was more in the fingers where I felt it. Right, it the fingers it didn't travel. Well, up it was just a little kind of a tingle, or what it was, was it? A little, it was a shock, definitely. Mm -hmm. It was like touching. Uh, I, I I can't even you know equate it to anything, but it was definitely a shock. So the moral of the story is. Moral of the story is... You don't have to touch the wires to get killed. Oh, no, absolutely not. But I will say this. There's times when I'm t doing a takedown and it's close to like a three-phase or something and they look coated. I I'm i always thinking, is it going to jump because of all the metal that you're, you know, <clears throat> whether it's the spikes or something on the saddle or the saw, it's going to jump, you know. Um, they do say what? To keep at least 10 feet away. Yeah. At all times. But here's the thing. That's just for us, you know, us non-utility guys. Yes. The utility guys will tell you that for every amount of voltage, you know, that you're, you're going to, they'll tell you how far you got to, what, what the clearance, safe clearance distances are. So for those, those high, high power lines, you know, who knows what the clearance distance is. It could be 25 feet. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yeah, right. But... It's, uh, I mean, 10 feet is just for us. But they tell us to stay 10 feet away from from the phone lines, which is just ridiculous. You can't walk through a backyard without staying 10 feet away. Really? You'd be 10 feet away from the phone lines. Yeah, they, You know what they tell the tree guys is every, you know, unless you're trained, you have to consider every wire to be hot. And you have to keep at least 10 feet of clearance. From there is low voltage going through, like, say, say your coaxial cable lines or something. But that's that's just ridiculous. I mean, that's just not practical. Like I say, you couldn't even walk through a backyard and stay 10 feet away from the no, wires. No, you wouldn't be doing any work <clears throat> if, if that were the case. But most of the... Now, what are the, the, the three-phase ones? Like 17,000? And then it all depends. They're all different. You know, I, I, I used to know a couple of them, but I don't know them Well, anymore. they say you can tell by the insulators. Like yeah, that's how I count the insulators. Yeah, because those big... Uh, those high-power ones, I or like, there's got to be... Almost ten insulators, you could see them. Oh, at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some, like, Dude, see those... on the street, one we see one right. insulator. Yeah, it's yeah. going to kill you. And even a service line can't get you. Can't get yeah, you. It can't get you. But it's, it's very, it's pretty damn rare. I was not... working for a raider. We knocked one off a garage, pulled the pulled the line down, but it was dangling. I remember getting up on the roof of the garage with my bare hand, grabbing the service line. And pulling it up to attach it. Again. Oh my God, Tommy! I don't know if I can publish that on YouTube, man. Like, but, like this is what not to do. This is what not to do. You were just young and dumb. What? Uh, I mean, like that what? Was, that was about fifteen years ago. But I just remember just like pulling it. I couldn't get it, and I'd pull it again. Well, I did something a little while, a while back. I think I was in the bucket, though. I'm a little embarrassed to tell this myself, right? Knock these wires down, right? And like they were talking about, like what's going to happen with all our meat in the freezer, and we're going to have to go get a hotel for the night because we can't live in the house without electricity, you know, and all that. Like, like it was this I was looking at like, this could be a pretty pricey thing. So I took and and the, it was a long run of wire too. It was 150 feet or something. It was like so that wire was heavy. 
So I just did kind of a well, like a extended prosthetic hitch on each side of the wires, and then used a you know the well, kind of a rope come along system to to suck you know to, I took a short piece of line and basically sucked the two back together, and then very carefully one handed each piece back in the each each leg back into the where where it had pulled out of and then called the electric company and said come out here and fix it but you know you you're not going to have I didn't have to uh you know I, their electricity came back on you know right, so right. so you know I wasn't at all qualified to do that but it was kind of an emergency situation I was in the bucket I wasn't grounded I wasn't using two hands <clears throat> I mean you know I I you know like I, I mean, I, I thought I was cool, but, you know, was it really worth the risk? I don't know, man. That was, that's a tough call. Like, you know, that's the thing about electricity. If you don't know what you're doing, like, you, you know, you, the thing, it can do stuff. That's the kind of point of this video. Maybe these guys out here in, in YouTube don't realize you can get shocked from high power lines without even you or the branch or anything coming in contact. It can jump right across and arc right across, you know, uh, open space and get you. And so that's the whole point is we don't know. We don't understand. We, you don't know electricity. You haven't been trained in it. You have to look. And it's so deadly. You know, you just have to really, really respect it. Yeah, and it's a one-off deal. It's one chance yeah. you're going to get. And I wish I had taken that course with you that you went to up there. And where was it? New Brunswick? Yeah, you know what, though, dude? I'm telling you, man. Like, that course, it was like the EHAP course for, for Arbors. They didn't really give you any of the information you needed to actually work around wires. They just said, don't work around the wires. Well, that, you could have just, that was the whole, that's the whole gist of it. 10 feet from, every, it was like, that's, this is, you know, this is ridiculous. You know, no. You almost need the, scenarios laid out. Like, hey, uh, even when they do the power shutdown, like when Pico de-energizes the lines for you, they still, they say you could still get shocked or killed by working around those the energized lines like those i haven't heard that one yes it's true even they don't it's not completely off like there's still power well no that, you know what that is no that's after storm work well after storm work and the electricity's out in the neighborhood if someone hooks their generator up improperly the voltage from the generator can get stepped up by the transformer and you can still get zapped and well, killed. I don't know. That was what one of the Pico guys said as we were waiting for him to shut the power down. He was just relaying it. Maybe he was just saying this to me, so I don't do any. I don't know. But, yes. All right. Well, there it is, YouTube. Thank you, Tommy, for sharing uh, that you're experience. Welcome. Yeah. There'll be more stories to come.